اطلاق و مرتان ڈائیوس کین بی ٹوائس فائن ساکم بے معروف ان اور تصحیح بے احسان آفٹر دیٹ ون ہیز ٹو ڈسائڈ ویدر ٹو ریٹین دی وائف ود آنر اور ٹو ریلیز ہر ود کائنڈنیس آفٹر ٹو اف ون گیوز تھرڈ آلسو دین ہی کین ناٹ ٹیک بیک دیٹ از طلاق مغلس بٹ اپ ٹل دیٹ ٹائم دیٹ دیر آر اونلی ٹو ڈائیورسز سو دیر از اے چوائس دیٹ ہی کین ریٹین دی وائف If during the period of Idda, there is no need of another fresh nikah. But if the period of Idda has been completed, now they will have to have a fresh nikah. But they can have it if the divorces are only two up till now. If it is the third one, then the, they, they, they cannot marry again. It will come later on, inshallah. At-talaqo barratane fa imsaakum me marufin o tasrihum be ihsan. Divorce is twice. After that, either a retention with honor or a release with honor. Balal yahillu lakum an taakhudu mimma ataytu muhun na shayyan. And it is not permissible for you that you take back from them what you have given them. What mahar and what dowry has been given, you cannot take on divorce. You cannot get it back. Illa an yakhafa an la yuqima hudud Allah. Except if they think and if they fear. that they cannot maintain the limits of the law of the sharia fain khiftum allah yuqima hudud allah if they fear they cannot maintain the, the limits of the law of allah fala junaha alayhima there is no sin there will be no sin on both of them fi maftadat bihi where with she gets her freedom if she says oh, actually if she says i am ready to forego half of my mahar you release me this is called khula the woman the wife can get khula If she cannot give talaq, she can get khula. And in khula, she might have to forego half of the mahar. Maybe the husband says no. She might have to forego full her mahar. But there, in that case, the, person, the husband, he doesn't want to, to give divorce. It's the wife who is demanding divorce. In that case, the husband has the authority to demand that my mahar that I paid to you should be returned either in total or in half. تِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَعْتَدُوهَا These are the limits prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't transgress them. Here just remember, we, we found the words تِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَقْرَبُوهَا While we were discussing, you know, the ayat of the 23rd section regarding song تِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَقْرَبُوهَا I told at that time that at certain places the wordings are تِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ فَلَا تَعْتَدُوهَا These are the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prescribed by Him. So don't transgress them. وَمَنْ يَتَعَدَّ حُدُودَ اللَّهِ And whosoever transgresses the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala فَأُولَائِكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ So verily they are the evil doers. فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْدُ حَتَّى تَنْكِحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرَهِ And now if he divorces her for the third time اَتَّلَاقُ مَرَّتَانِ That was the previous ayah. Now if for the third time he has also divorced. فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ Now she will not be permissible in marriage. She will not be lawful for him. فَلَا تَحِلُّ لَهُ مِنْ بَعْد After this. حَتَّى تَنْكِحَ زَوْجًا غَيْرَا Till such time that she marries another husband. فَإِن تَلَّقَهَا And now if the other husband, now if he also gives divorce, فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا Now, there will be no sin if they compromise again. فَلَا جُنَاهَ عَلَيْهِمَا يَتَ رَاجَعَا If those two again get into the marriage contract. إِن زَنَّا يُقِيمَا حُدُودَ اللَّهِ If they think that now they can, they can maintain the limits of the law of the sharia. وَتِلْكَ حُدُودُ اللَّهِ يُبَيِّنُ هَا لِقَوْمِ يَعْلَمُونَ And these are the limits of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is making them very clear for those people who know. وَإِذَا تَلَّقْتُمُ النِّسَاءَ فَبَلَغْنَا عَجَلَهُنَّ فَأَمْسِكُوهُنَّ بِمَعْرُوفٍ أَوْ سَرِّحُوهُنَّ بِمَعْرُوفٍ And if you have divorces your women, your wives, and they have completed the period of idda, three periods, three menstrual periods, Now, now is the time to decide. If it is not the third divorce, it is the first or the second divorce. It is the time finally to decide. Either retain them in a, in a noble way. 
اور لیٹ دم گو اینڈ لیٹ دم ریلیز دم ود کائنڈنیس ولا تم سے کوہنا زرار ان لے تاٹا دو اینڈ ڈونٹ ریٹین دم ان آرڈر ٹو ڈو ہارم ٹو دم اف یو آر اینگری ویل آئی ڈونٹ لیٹ ہر گو آئی پنش بیکاز اف شی گوز اوے دین یو کانٹ پنش ہر اینی مور اف یو وانٹ ٹو ریٹین ہر اونلی ٹو ڈو ہارم ٹو ہر ومن يفعل ذلك فقد ظلم نفسه هو سوور داز ذس هي هاز دن رونغ تو هيم سيلف بيكوز الله تعالى ويل بنيش هيم دن ولا تتخذوا ايات الله هزوا اند دونت ميك الله ريفيليشنز ا موكري دونت بلاي وذ دي وذ دي لاز اوف دي شريعة بيكوز اي هاف دي اوتوريتي تو تيك هير باك سو اي هاف تيكن باك ليجلي يس ليجلي يو هاف دن گڈ بٹ اف يور انٹنشنز ار تو ڈو هارم تو هر then actually you will be rewarded and you will be punished on the day of judgment waskuru ni'mat allah alaykum remember allah's blessing over you wa ma anzala alaykum min alkitab and remember that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent down to you the book wal hikmah and the wisdom ya'izukum bihi and he is admonishing you with this wa taqullaha wa alamu anna allah bi kulli shay'in alim and have regard for allah subhanahu wa ta'ala fear him and keep it in mind that he knows everything fa'in wa'idha talaqtum an-nisa fa balaghna ajalahunna and when you have divorced your women and they have reached their they have completed their period of of idda fala ta'zuluhunna an yankihna azwajahunna so don't stop them from marrying their own husbands Now, for example, if somebody has divorced your daughter, and now because it is the only first or the second divorce, and now the husband, you know, he wants to take her back, you say no. So this has also been, you know, the Muslims have been not permitted to do it. You don't come in the way. If the husband wants to take her back, if the wife is also ready to take to go back to that husband, then don't come in their way. because out of your pride and haughtiness why did he divorce and you know oh, this is this is not permissible fala tazulu hunna an yan kehna azwaja hunna iza tarada bainahu if they can agree among themselves if they are ready to remarry i told you after the completion of the idda there should be a fresh marriage within the period of idda the husband can take without a fresh marriage but after that that period has been completed now there has to be a fresh marriage but now if the parents or the brothers or the relatives of the woman they come in the way we won't allow this marriage this is wrong la laka you have bihi man kana minkum yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir these advices are being given to those of you who really believe in allah and the last day because if you don't believe then all these advices are useless you won't pay heed to them zalika you are the behi man kana minkum yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir only those of you will be able to avail of all these advices and admonition nations who have real faith in allah and in the last day zalikum azka lakum wa athar this is more decent for you or and more pure for you wallahu ya'lamu antum la ta'lamun allah knows and you don't know